outside right now and enjoying the weather here in Telegraph Cove. And in this video, we are going to talk about, you know, the recent changes. What are the effects recently to the international education space? So apply were conducted a research where they see a significant decline on study permit process for this year. This is in comparison with the study permit that was processed last year. So last year, they had 77,000 in the first quarter of 2023. And this year, in the first quarter, they only processed around 33,000 study permit. So that's like about 50% decline. The main reason why they're like less and less interested international students to study here it's because of the financial requirements. It went up, like it doubled this year and also like when they changed the policy for the open work permit and now they're thinking to change the policy for the postgraduate work permit and a lot of people are now noticing that the, you know, getting the permanent residency here in Canada is not easy compared before. And as you know, in the past few years, the past years, there's so many Indian students here. Like 50% of international students are from India. However, this year, in the first quarter, they only process around 4,000. It went down significantly. So I'm really looking forward to less competition on jobs, housing, right, schools. Not like before. <laughs> Grabe. Sobrang hirap makapasok. So marami talagang, alam mo yun, um, na discourage with all the videos posted online about, you know, the rant about the housing crisis, the rant about, you know, so many Indian students here in Canada. And they also like complain about, you know, jobs and all. The power of social media is just insane because it really affected how people you know decide so now you will see less Indian students in the coming years um, and also we are hoping for more diversification here culture wise especially in big cities like Toronto Vancouver and even community colleges here in Canada are really impacted by these changes you see more schools or more community colleges are now offering scholarships to international students so that they can get more students right now so they're I don't know I don't say if they're desperate but they're doing their best to recruit international students so on the positive note like the processing time now with the study permit application it's less than 30 days so IRCC have already worked on the backlogs that they have been having for the past few months. So I'm happy with that. And also, like, if you have less international students coming here to Canada, you have more spots. You ha not, not like before, ang bilis maubos ng program. Ang, ang, ang hirap kumuha ng slot. So now, if I have only few students that I will need to process their, you know, like their, their admission for universities or community colleges, uh, I can actually get them a spot, right, from those schools. This pub, it's now open. It was closed when we went here. So we went back to our car because it's kind of expensive here in Canada Cove. So I don't want to eat here. I'd rather drive a little bit further and then have my dinner there. I could dry out in the sun. So, ito na nga, it's already sunset. Kung mas konting tao, mas konting international student, if you have less international students, you have less competition, right? You have more opportunities to find a better job, you know, lower housing prices here, diba? And 
more culture, more diverse community environment here. And let's see, in a couple of years, di ba, once nag-effect na tong mga changes na ini-implement ni Canada. I always look at the brighter side. And for me, I see this as, as an opportunity, right? If you're an international student, na if you are financially ready and you are mentally ready to move abroad, for instance, Canada, then go for it. But if you're not financially ready, I will definitely think 100 times. As see right now, mas mahirap makakuha. It's harder to get the student visa. You will see uh, a lot more refusal lately kasi because of the finances. So you really have to be really prepared, not just financially, but all the aspects of your life, mentally, emotionally, right? Because when you are moving to a new country, not just like international student, even like a newcomer, like an immigrant, you need to have a safety caution, right? Safety net to survive for a couple of months if you don't have a job, if you don't get a cheaper house. You have to be really geared up when you move here. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And watch more vlogs here on our channel. Thank you, thank you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.